Hi, it's DM. Today I have a project share for the Surprise Creation Store on AliExpress. And I was able to work with a number of their dies. So this first set here was designed by Craft Eccentricity here on YouTube. And in this set, you do get three picture frames that creates a mini portrait gallery. So you get the oval, the square, as well as flower or scallop shape one. And you do get the pieces to make the hanging element for your picture frame. And then uh, this next set here is a rectangular nesting die set that has a notched or uh, curved uh, corners. And um, so this die set um, creates like a stitched edge on the inside as well as the outside of the rectangles. Uh, so this would be really great for card making as well as uh, making mini albums. And you do get 12 pieces in this set and the largest one measures uh, five by seven inches. And then uh, these next set of dies were designed by Nicole Silhouette. So on the left side here, we have a shopping cart planner page. As uh, this piece creates the pages, this is the base of the shopping cart. And then you get these uh, decorative pieces that you would layer on top. And then um, there's also this piece, which could be used as a layering piece, or it could be used to turn the um, die into a shaker. And then um, you do get the wheels as well. And then on the right hand side here, we have a shopping basket planner page or mini album. And um, with this one, you here, this one creates the base pages. And then um, of course, like with the shopping cart as well, you don't have to uh, create like a planner page or a mini album as um, this uh, basket does have its own uh, backing piece. And then this is the basket. These are the handles. And then this would be a label that you can put onto the basket. And then I also use this uh, butterfly uh, bow set here, and it's actually two sets. So as you can see, um, there's butterfly details on the edge here. And then the really nice thing about this set is that each of these pieces has layering pieces. So this would go on top of this, and uh, this would be going on top of the uh, bow tail here. So this is really pretty. And then uh, these are the uh, pieces to create the bow centers. And then um, this next set here is a set of uh, groceries. And I believe this was uh, designed by Ben, who is Nicole's husband. And um, in this set, you get a uh, bread or baguette. So uh, this would be the backing piece. This is a layering piece. Um, you get these pieces to make an egg curtain. This is a salami or sausage, paper bag, this chicken or turkey, a banana with layering pieces, milk curtain with label, this could be a uh, like juice or a condiments bottle, and it does come with labels. And then uh, this is a can, and it does have a label as well. A lot of um, possibilities with this set. And then uh, this is a set of vegetables. So in this set, you get uh, broccoli, uh, and then you get layering pieces. This is uh, tomatoes with the vines, onion, I believe. This is an eggplant, could also be a zucchini garlic with layering pieces. Um, this is a turnip or radish. And then uh, these are hot peppers and you get a left and a right. And then uh, the last set that I worked with is this uh, set of pears. So um, you get two sizes here. So this is the larger one here. And um, it, these pears do create, um, like you get these pieces that create embossing details for the core here. Uh, you could turn them into shakers. It does come with extras such as the worms and banners. And then um, these are the seeds that you can layer on as well. So let me show you what I created. So the first thing um, that I worked with is the shopping basket die. And um, as you can see, I just made a shopping basket on its own in a Hello Kitty theme. Like I couldn't resist because I wanted to make it um, like into really cute uh, shopping baskets. And then um, I did add some like cabochons here. And I was also able to um, create a little pocket where I could stuff things into the basket here, like into the cart, because um, I thought it'd be nice to actually be able to put things into the cart. So um, I was able to create that little pocket by putting another acetate uh, piece behind um, the see-through shaker. So that's how I was able to create that. And then um, as you can see, I just cut out the frame part of it in a uh, glitter cardstock. And then you could um, definitely, of course, like turn this into a planner page or a mini album. So it would be uh, like a little bit more sturdy if you were to do that. But I wanted it to be like this um, in case I just wanted to like put it onto um, something. But um, 
that's what you can do. And then I did um, make I did make another one just to show you that you can put all sorts of things into your shopping cart here. So um, right now I just have the groceries in here and um, imagine putting the things that you really love to shop for into your cart. So I was able to put things um, inside by creating a acetate uh, pocket here in which I just glued down the three sides and left the top open because I think it's really fun to be able to do that with this die. And then I'm just gonna take these items out so that you can see them a bit better here. And I'm just gonna grab my tweezers to take these items out. So here we have the uh, bananas, which I cut out using a glitter cardstock as the base. And then here's um, the egg carton. Just gonna set these down here. And uh, these are the two paper bags. I did cut two of them out and I was able to put things into them just by cutting two of them out and then um, gluing them back to back just on the uh, sides here. And then this one's holding the little uh, milk carton. And then uh, here's the uh, salami or sausage. And um, although this is not the best color for it, just gonna make sure this is um, in focus. And then here's the little ch uh, chicken or turkey. And I did uh, distress the edges just to give it more um, definition. And here's the little can uh, with the label. And I did uh, layer the label with um, foam just to make it pop a little. And then in this um, paper bag, I have some more, um, like another milk curtain, which I think is adorable. And then here's the little bottle with label and then uh, this is the baguette really cute set so uh, many possibilities with the uh, shopping cart and then I wanted to show you what the um, vegetables look like so I made this little um, I guess you can call it a card I use the rectangular nesting die sets for this and um, those sets are like so highly useful because you could almost um, there's always like going to be a frame for whatever size you need. So um, whatever size your project is, like there's always a frame for it. So I thought it was really handy. And um, so on here, I have the uh, little vegetables. And as you can see, um, these are the tomatoes. And for the vine, I did cut it out in a glitter cardstock. And then we have the garlic here, the little hot peppers. And I just put it into this um, crate that I have. And then I didn't glue these down because I just wanted to show you uh, what they would look like. So we have the broccoli here and I did cut the base out using a glitter cardstock. Uh, the zucchini or eggplant. This is uh, the onion. It's got really um, nice embossing details. And then we have the um, radish. So, um, and then I put this little sentiment that says, we're rooting for you. And then um, next up, I did work with the little shopping uh, basket die and I did turn it into a little planner page or um, it could be the beginning of a mini album as well. So for this um, little basket, I did cut it out using a pink shimmer paper and I put this label that says I love shopping, which I made with my silhouette uh, cameo machine. And then as you can see, here are the butterfly bows and um, they're so pretty because I was able to uh, layer it with a uh, strawberry paper as well. And then uh, for the basket handles, I did cut them out using uh, gold uh, cardstock, uh, gold foil cardstock. And then um, I used my uh, We Are Memory Keepers crocodile to punch the eyelets. That way I'm able to move these handles if I wish. And I did um, make it quite thick because it's been layered three times here. So I thought it'd be nice to, you know, give your basket a different look by uh, using the um, eyelets here. And then in it, I just have some little uh, gingerbread uh, die cuts that I made using my silhouette. And um, these were totally inspired by the ones that you can get at um, Hobby Lobby because I love them so much. I wanted to uh, make a whole bunch of my own here. So that's what I have in here. And then um, as you can see, this shopping basket um, is a little pocket because I thought it would be really fun to, um, like sometimes if you go shopping, right, you might change your mind and wanna put other things into your basket. So I did uh, create a little uh, pocket here just by gluing only on um, the three sides here. So that is an idea for you. So really cute and so many possibilities because um, 
I was really thinking of, you know, what I wanted to put into the basket. So if it was me, I'd be buying like a lot of uh, vintage strawberry shortcake stuff. And um, for example, here is a little box that I made of, um, you know, the doll box, the little strawberry shortcake um, box here. And um, so I created this box using a present die uh, set that I had in my stash. And um, I'll show you the die, uh, show you what the die looks like. It looks like this, um, just to let you know. And it does come from the Andy store. But what I really wanted to do is um, put little um, dolls into my basket, right? So obviously this is not gonna work, um, like putting this you know, box into this. So what I decided to do is um, take the die and then turn it into a little gift um, basket. And um, so this is how it turned out. Oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. So um, I did make these ones in a uh, Sanrio theme. So for example, we have a uh, My Melody one here. I'm just gonna make sure this is in focus. I'm just gonna go a little bit closer so you can see better here. So as you can see um, for the label here, I have like this image of My Melody and her friend. And um, all the images do come from the Sanrio um, website and they are free downloads which I'll put a link to in the description box below. So um, this is what the other side of the box looks like. I just have a different image. And then for the handles, I did use a foil uh, cardstock to cut them out. And for these, um, I did use brads to keep them in place. And I do have it glued on here. And um, so again, here's the front. And um, as you can see, I did use the uh, butterfly bow there to make the little bow. And I did, uh, uh, I did also layer it with my Melody uh, wallpaper that you can download as well. And then, um, which I think is so cute, like that you're able to layer the bow. And then I just added this uh, star bead here. And then um, I use brads on for these handles because um, I made this a little too thick. It's four layers, but if you go with three, you're able to use your um, eyelet punch to punch an eyelet. And then inside I have um, like my dream shopping items. So I have a whole bunch of little uh, doll boxes that I made of like strawberry shortcake characters here. I'm just gonna show you quickly here cause I thought it was uh, really fun to do. And then uh, here is a, sorry, a blow kiss doll. Does anyone remember that? Like, and then uh, for these boxes, I did uh, decorate the other side. So just imagine putting like a whole bunch of things that you like. Um, so for example, you could put even uh, craft supplies or clothes, shoes, you can put little plushies inside. So here's a little uh, sewing machine uh, that I made. And um, I just made this using one of my vintage uh, sewing, like strawberry shortcake sewing machine boxes and I uh, just scanned it and made my own little sewing machine box. And then here's another one. Uh, so that is an idea for you. And then basically with the basket, it was pretty simple because all you had to do is you're gonna cut a um, the front of your basket and then a piece for the back of your basket. And then this is uh, just one uh, strip of paper that I added in the middle here. And you can make this as thick as you want as well, like, sorry, as wide as you wish. So it's just one um, strip of paper with flaps on the side, which I uh, glued onto the inside of the basket. And it is quite sturdy because um, I made this using 110 pound cardstock. And then, um, yeah, you could put all kinds of goodies inside. So that is my first one here. And then um, let me just show you a few of the other things that I made. So um, for example, um, here is another one. And um, so this one is in a little twin stars theme. And again, for the bow there, I did, um, as you can see, I made a little twin stars bow with the paper that I layered on top. And um, I was able to get little images by just resizing the uh, digitals on my silhouette machine. But if you don't have a silhouette machine, you can also resize it using whatever uh, program you already have on your uh, computer for photos. And then uh, this is the other side here. So really fun. And again, you can put all kinds of goodies such as embellishments. And uh, for example, here are some more of those uh, bows that I made in a larger size, just to show you uh, what they would look like. 
and I just cut them out in really uh, fun papers. So imagine, um, you know, gifting someone a bunch of bows or embellishments and putting them into this uh, basket. I think it'd be so cute. You can put uh, like shakers, all kinds of things. So for example, um, here are some shakers that I made using the uh, Paradise. And um, so this is the larger one and then the smaller one. And then I'm gonna show you um, like the core it does emboss the details into the uh, paper. So um, as you can see there at the back. And then, yeah, I turned this um, into, the leaf part is even a shaker. And then uh, this larger one, I'm just gonna give you the measurement here. So this measures three and three quarter inches by two and a half inches for the large one. And then uh, you could put these into the basket. And then this small one uh, measures three inches by one and seven eighths of an inch really cute and then i did make uh one more basket which looks like this and i did it um i made this one in a cinema roll theme here and um so we had the same thing happening i added a bow here which i layered and then um, just decorated the sides of the basket and then uh, this is the other side and this gumball machine um, image is so cute it's a free download on their site and then on the inside, I do have like the little uh, picture frames that I made um, using the mini portrait uh, gallery set. So here's the scalloped one. And I did make them in a strawberry shortcake theme. As you can see, it's got the little uh, hanging element there. And, um, and then also for the hanging element, I just punched a, an eyelet there so that I could use these as little ornaments. And then uh, here is the oval shaped one. I'm just gonna make sure this is in focus. And then I just added this little strawberry shortcake um, die cut. And this was from the Silhouette Design Store. I'm not sure if it's still available because I didn't see it as well as this. This is from the uh, Silhouette Design Store as well. And then, um, so that's the oval shaped one. Really cute. And then the last one is the uh, square shaped one. And um, so as you can see, again, I went with a strawberry shortcake theme. I just added really fun shaker bits to it, as you could turn them into shakers. Um, but for these, they were meant to um, like, you know, glue right onto a project because they don't come with layering pieces. But for these like simple uh, shapes here, you can definitely uh, make your own layering pieces just by um, tracing around the edge here or using even dies that you might have in your um, stash. So for example, for the back here, I just used it, this um, square die that I have so that I can create my own backing piece. And then uh, this one, I just uh, traced around it here. Well, I partially used um, a die that I have and then I traced around it. And then I made the hanging element really sturdy as it's got like uh, three layers to it. And I think they're adorable. So um, you could make a little mini gallery. So for example, this is my little strawberry shortcake gallery. Yeah, so those are my um, project shares for the Surprise Creation Store, and I'm going to be back with more. But if you have any uh, questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I'd be happy to answer. And again, I'm going to put a link to um, everything in the description box below so that you can find it easily. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.